Electrification of public transport is a high priority in Umia city in northern Sweden. To reduce emissions of pollution and CO2, reduce noise, reduce costs and improve public health. It's silent. It's really silent and it's good in the, in the cities to have silent buses. I think it's really interesting that uh, they have an idea to drive the bus with electricity because it's so much more en environmental friendly and quiet. Umia is a relatively small university city with access to very clean electricity from hydro and wind. In 2011, Opbrid and its partners successfully introduced an ultra-fast charged hybrid bus into the city. Frederick Fossell, transport manager with the Umia municipality companies, explains why this is important. Because we have a big problem with the pollution in the central areas. Uh, uh, we want to be a bigger city, therefore we need good buses with uh, no pollution and uh, not much noise from the buses too. As the bus approaches, the Oprit bus bar ultra-fast charging station swings out to be ready to begin charging as soon as the bus stops. Oprit CEO Roger Bedell explains how the ultra-fast charge electric buses in Umia work. What ultra-fast charging means is that you use the characteristics of bus routes. Buses run a particular route from one end to the other end and back again. What you can do with buses is that you can locate an ultra-fast charging station at one end or at both ends of the bus route and then the bus runs its route and when it gets to the charger it charges very very fast ultra fast charging for maybe five to ten minutes then it turns around and runs its route and when it gets to the other end it charges again and can do that all day long that's ultra fast charging the first two buses and charging station were introduced in october 2011 and have been running with passengers throughout the winter boo westerlund CEO of Hybricon tells us how well the system is working. Most people, if they have the choice, they wait for this bus to come instead of going with a regular bus. So uh, they like it. Ultra-fast charging reduces the number of batteries needed for an electric bus by up to 80%. It's much uh, cheaper to run these buses. Electricity will always be cheaper and more efficient than uh, diesel and internal combustion engines. We are now planning for the first 18-meter uh, uh, articulated bus, which will be uh, running in the city next winter. If everything works as planned, uh, the city will go for 15 to 22 articulated buses next year. This winter was a typical harsh winter in northern Sweden, with temperatures falling to minus 30 degrees. Mark Gilgen from Furrer and Fry about why the Oprid bus bar charging station operated well throughout the winter. This type of installation has been used all over the world uh, in hot climates, in heavy uh, rain climates. These parts are made to last forever at least. Uh, we are talking about 50 years of, of using in, in heavy used systems. It is conceptually made to transfer a lot of power because in railways we are talking about peaks of 2000 amps or even 3000 amps. The exact same part of the movable conductor rail are used in the depots in uh, railways where the conductor needs to be swinged back when the people want to work on the roof. So in this matter it's a very safe product. One of the central ideas of Oprid is to bring reliable technology from the European electric heavy rail industry to this new application. For example, the pantographs on top of the bus are built by Schunk to endure extreme conditions on top of locomotives and last for decades. David Persson from Schunk. Uh, the cooperation with Operate started up, uh, let's say, a year from now, and uh, it was initially a, a good vision from uh, Roger Bedell that started up the discussion. And from now we have made some huge steps to, towards a final solution. I think this fast charged bus is together with Oprim has huge potential for the Swedish, but also the European and, and the world market. The quick charging of buses 
is, I would say, optimum for, for the pantographs. As you can imagine, used in the uh, railway applications, it's uh, been under very hard stress and test for many, many years. And we can adopt this also for the buses. Typically, bringing electric public transportation to a city requires large infrastructure projects and upfront investment. Ultra-fast charged buses are different. One of the great advantages of the ultra-fast charging system is how easily it integrates with existing bus lines. You can start with just a single route and expand it uh, gradually. One route, uh, add some more buses, expand to another route. As diesel buses are retired, you can replace them with this type of electric bus. When I start driving, they reduce their speaking level just to, it, it feels like they are keeping quiet to experience the silence. Ultra-fast charge buses using the operate bus bar represent a practical pathway to clean, quiet, non-polluting public transportation. Two of these buses are fulfilling this promise today in the city of Umia. The next step is to spread these ultra-fast charged electric buses throughout the world, turning loud, polluting diesel buses into relics of the past.